the suggestion of one of our subscribers, I've been asked to take a look at Greencore. Uh, Greencore is a, uh, a basically a white label food manufacturer uh, looking after a wide range of chilled products, sandwiches, um, Yorkshire puddings on there, ready-made meals, soups, and uh, quite a massive variety of things they're producing. So um, based in Ireland, and but with uh, about 35 sites across the UK and Ireland and uh, supplying the major supermarkets, etc. I think the idea behind this was really to look at a company that may be a... Uh, uh, a steady safer haven for money in the coming year. So let's take a look at the charts. Uh, in terms of turnover and uh, net profit, turnover is, is heading upwards in 2022, uh, which is, is good news. Um, the the net pro well, gross profit is is up and, um, and net profit is, well, it's there. <laughs> it's, it's one of those businesses that obviously has an absolutely massive turnover. And, and trades on a, a very quite uh, quite tiny margin at the end of the day for the net profit. Assets and liabilities. Uh, this thing's got a fair level of debt there actually as well, so it's 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 pretty hefty. Uh, capital expenditure uh, looks to be steadily increasing. I would hope that's in, in investing in uh, new production machinery and things. Um, but it, it's obviously quite a fair size of business operation and uh, the, obviously there will be capital expenditure costs going out there in terms of maintaining the production machinery, etc. And uh, free cash flow has been a bit up and down. Obviously, 2020 was a bit of a slack year, like many businesses. And 2022 um, was down. So that may have a reflection there in the share price. So let's have a, a look at SharePad. So having a look at uh, Greencore Group over the last three years, the share price has been just generally sort of sliding, really. So it uh, does seem to have come down from a high uh, where we're looking there at about 2.75 and has, has sort of steadily been declining down and down and down and down. And we're sitting there. We've had a low point at 61.87 and uh, it's currently about uh, about 64p a, sh a share. So on Phil Town's 10 cap method, uh, it's hitting a 20% there, which is actually a very good score, really. So it's over that 10%. So that's indicating it's it's possibly a good buy opportunity. Simply Wall Street is very much agreeing with that, uh, coming up with a fair value at £3.64 a share. So the current 64p, they're putting it at 82% uh, undervalued. So it, it could be quite seriously undervalued at the current time. So we've got P/E ratio at ten, which is obviously quite uh, quite healthy on the attractive side. And I think they're looking at quite a fair rate of growth now. Uh, Yahoo Finance had a, a massive growth rate on this one. Um, I think probably maybe being a bit more conservative might be a bit more realistic here. Um, just thinking about the company in general, though, I don't know as much as I probably need to know about Greencore to make an authoritative comment on this one. Um, We've seen the prices of food soaring up in the supermarkets over the last year. Um, considering that their raw material is food, their raw material costs are going up, also their labour costs are going up. So if you've got a business that's got a, a small percentage profit margin, it could be squeezed quite hard. And that may be a factor in why the share price is low at the present time. So they probably need to be trying to retain those, uh, those margin levels and keep the high levels of turnover and increase them uh, to remain very much a profitable business. But food, as people think, is, is definitely going to be a safe bet over the next uh, next year or so because people are always going to be consuming it, as opposed to many other high-tech and high-growth products where people may go, oh, I won't be spending the money on that this year. So do share your thoughts and opinions and comments in the comment section below. Today's video is sponsored by Rule Number 1 by Phil Town. It's a lovely, easy read and one of the first books I read uh, getting involved in investing that shows some lovely, easy ways to... Uh, calculate the, the true value of a business and work out what sort of price you'd be looking at to buy a business when it's uh, on sale as the ideal time. So you can click on the Amazon link in the description below and uh, for $8.99 you get yourself some great easy reading as a good way to get started in investing. And uh, clicking on the link also helps support the channel of course. So if you like the videos do like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch up with you again soon.